Goku looks directly at Bardock, and Bardock looks back at him. They even put their hands up to the glass. This is the first time these two have ever seen each other. After this moment, Goku goes on to become one of the strongest warriors in the universe, and Bardock dies. From there, Goku completely forgets about Bardock and goes about the rest of his life unknowing who his dad is. As far as he knows, he was raised by Grandpa Gohan and the wolves, which is true, but that's not his heritage. Goku was never supposed to be a strong fighter. The position that he ended up being in was a result of training. Non-stop training. And that's it. That's why he was sent to Earth, because with his power level, the people on Earth would be easier for him to kill. And even though that's not what happened, in Dragon Ball Super Broly, Goku is being sent to Earth by Bardock, and what's interesting about this scene is that Goku's not a baby. It looks like he would remember this moment and at least know who Bardock is, but Goku completely forgets about him. Even Frieza, when he sees Goku for the first time, he compares him to Bardock. It reminds him of Bardock, and Goku completely dismisses the idea that that could be a member of his family. He just doesn't care. I was in a skirmish with a Saiyan who looks just like you. You're his offspring. The resemblance between you is unmistakable. I don't care! I don't care! I don't care! Even to this day, every time Bardock has been brought up to Goku, he never showed any interest because for Goku, guys like Grandpa Gohan, Master Roshi, Krillin, they're all more important to Goku because that's who he grew up with. Bardock is a part of his history and who he is, but the reason Goku isn't rushing to see him or revive him or anything like that is because he doesn't know him at all. It's kind of like when he met his brother for the first time. Even though that's his brother, he tried to kill him. Raditz is one of many reasons why Goku was so hesitant of accepting that he is a Saiyan. It takes him a while to come around to the fact that he is a Saiyan. Notice that every time he gets called Kakarot, he's quick to say, no, I'm Goku. That's him rejecting his Saiyan heritage, partly because of his first experience with Raditz and Nappa and Vegeta. Let's get something straight. Some friends call me Kakarot, but I'm Goku and you're not my friend. Goku is very much attached to his childhood based on Earth. Everything that he has learned, he has grown up knowing, was completely flipped on its head. When Raditz first arrives and knees Goku right in the stomach and takes Gohan, it affected how he sees the Saiyan race. Because of Raditz, Goku's not got a very good impression of his biological family at all. And so it's not that Goku doesn't like his dad, it, again he doesn't even know him. But that is the story up until now. Goku has never accepted his Saiyan heritage, up until very very recently. At the end of Dragon Ball Super Broly, he announces himself directly to Broly as Kakarot. He calls himself Kakarot. Goku has never called himself Kakarot, it's always been Vegeta. and. Every time Goku even announces himself as a Saiyan, he says, I'm Goku, a Saiyan from Earth. Always just having to add in that he's from Earth, not Vegeta. What that means moving forward is that meeting Bardock is not out of the picture at all. The reason Goku never made an effort to see his biological parents is because, number one, they're dead. But number two, his impression of Saiyans was dirty. This guy comes to Earth, says that he is your family, takes your kid and tells you that you have to kill people. Goku died to get rid of this man. He let Piccolo put a beam straight through both of their chests just to get rid of him. He died and that was his first impression of Saiyans. The point is, at first, obviously, Goku didn't like Saiyans, and that's part of the reason why he never made an effort to track down Bardock. But now we've moved into the era of Dragon Ball Super Broly, and Goku's called himself Kakarot. It would actually be fitting if Goku met Bardock in some way after the Broly movie. Anyway, that is why Goku never met his father. So many people want to see Goku meet his dad, but for the longest time, Goku was ashamed to be a Saiyan, and the only thing he knows about his dad is that he is a Saiyan. So that's why it's never happened up until now. Anyway, let me know what you think. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next Dragon Ball video.